everybody in this lesson what we're going to do is we're going to create um, a type of silhouette design like this in Photoshop by using um, shapes uh, including some textures learning how to create silhouettes with a pen tool and uh, adding a clipping adding clipping masks to our, our silhouette shapes to fit inside this um, this shape right here um, now there's a little bit to this so I'm just going to go through the tutorial I won't try to explain too much in detail um, I can do I can do that in as we work through it in class but um, the first thing we're going to do is set up a new document. Now, the idea for this is I, we want to take this into After Effects, this design into After Effects a little bit later on once it's complete and get some animation, some simple animation happening with it. So for that reason, we're going to choose a film and video preset. Um, and let's just choose a high definition TV, 1920 by 1080 pixels and create that. Okay, now the first thing to do is let's just unlock our background layer. And um, those textures that I got you to take photographs of, I want you to file and place them all in the document. Okay, so just go to File and Place Linked. Um, I'm going to use this one. Now, I don't think you can select multiple at a time, so you'll just have to do it one by one. And just size them out so that they fit across. Um, if you need to rotate or anything, you can do that. Uh, and so I'm not going to put all five in. I'll just put two in. You can put all five in because I don't, won't have enough time. File and place, and this one's coming like that, so I'm just going to rotate it. It doesn't have to be perfect. I'm going to hold shift and uh, grab the corners. Now, I think on the new version of Photoshop, you don't have to hold shift anymore, my students tell me, so I, um, that could throw things out. But anyway, if you need to, you need to. If you don't, you don't. Okay, so now we've got our um, backgrounds on there. Now, the next thing we want to do is um, we want to draw our shape, okay? That trough, like that rectangle kind of triangle shape that we had going on there. So grab the, um, the rectangle shape tool and um, what we're going to do is just bash roughly on the edge here, just draw a rectangle shape, not all the way to the end. I'm going to leave a little gap there and leave a little um, gap about like I've done from the top and the bottom. And let's just give it, if this pops up here, if your properties pops up, you can change the stroke and fill of this rectangle shape there. If not, you can do it in here. Okay, um, so we've got no fill at the moment. So I'm just going to choose that yellowy color that I had before. And at the moment, we've got a white stroke. I don't want the stroke, so I'm going to turn the stroke off. Not that you can see it because it was really small. Um, okay, and we might just get the move tool and kind of center it like that. Now, in order to make to bend the shape from here and down to here, let's grab the white selection tool. This is just like in Illustrator now. Um, uh, so select that. If You can click and hold if it's hidden. Usually the black move tool, path selection tool will be highlighted. So click and hold. And click this anchor point here. You may have to click it once and then click it again and then click, hold and drag it down. Now, uh, I want it to drag straight down. So what I'm going to do is hold shift down and that'll give me a straight line. Okay, while well, I'm clicking and dragging it down. That will do. Click yes, and there's our shape there. Okay, now what we can also do is we can also add a drop shadow to this just to make it pop off the background a little bit more. So in effects down here, just go to drop shadow, um, move your dialog box so you can see it. Uh, you can play around with the opacity, the distance of the shadow. I'm just going to give it a little one here. Uh, I'll take the opacity down a little bit. Spreading it will blur it. Okay, you can play around with the settings, the angle if you want to see um, your design fit. Um, okay, now the next thing we want to do is um, I'm going to use just the reason I got you to put the five textures in is so that we can kind of use the eye icon to hide and show to see what kind of a, a texture would work best for your design. So uh, I'm just going to hide this one for now but and, and use the corrugated cardboard. But on top of these two layers, let's just create a new adjustment layer. I'm just going to use a curves one. You could experiment with using any adjustment layer that you want. We just want to kind of change the, the mood or the colors or the lightness and darkness of our background. Um, texture so I'm just going to darken this a little bit just like that that's all I'm going to do um, and again you know you could experiment with you know um, the different the different adjustment layers here to see if you can come up with something um, all right so now that that's done the next part is to uh, we're going to draw our shapes out okay so the easiest way to do that is we're going to use the pen tool, all 
All right, now we're going to, um, I want you to go to Google Images and I want you to um, get an image. I'll write what images I want you to get up on the board in class. And the easiest way to do this is kind of just to do something like this. Click, hold and drag and drop this guy in there and it will place the, this photo in here. Now, let's put it on top of everything so that we can see it. And we're going to use the pen tool to uh, uh, trace around this guy here. Okay. Um, now, when you select the pen tool, just make sure, this is really important, that you it's a shape. It's not drawing a path because if it's drawing a path, we, I, I don't know a way that we can go back to a shape. So just make sure you've got shape selected. Um, just for the moment, let's give it no fill and let's just, it doesn't matter what colour stroke, as long as you've got a stroke on there, one point stroke, that will be fine. And let's zoom in and we'll use the pen tool. We've used this before, but I'll just go through it again and then I might speed the video clip up to save time. So um, basically, I'm going to click once down here. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, if I click and click and click, I'm going to get straight lines. Um, but if I click and hold, I'm going to get curved lines. All right. So just watch what I do. I might just start down here. Some parts you need to make up. Okay. And I'm going to go really quickly. All right. I might curve it around here. And see that how the lines kind of not the right shape. Okay, so once that happens to you, what you want to do is you want to hold Option on the keyboard and go back up. So before you do that, undo that line with Command Z. It's not letting me do it. There we go. Command Option Z. I, I press then uh, and hold Option and go back to the last square anchor point and left click on your mouse and then you get a straight line again. Okay, and then I can do some more curvy stuff. So if you once the pen tool kind of isn't curving the right way for you, like it isn't really now, you can undo, hold option, click on the square anchor point, and then start again. Okay, you don't have to. Do all, you can do all the details. You can do as you know little. You can leave a lot of the detail out if you need to. Okay, now what I might do is I might just speed up the video clip. And once you've, <clears throat> once you've finished, you need to join them up like that. And I'll just undo that and get a straight line there. And then um, you can see our shape there. Uh, now, the next thing to do is we want to just, to this shape, we want to fill it with the color. I'm just going to use black and we'll take the stroke off, okay, so that we don't have the white outline around it. And then we, what we can do is we can just hide hide that layer and there's our, um, our silhouette there. Now, um, if you finish with it, you can even throw this layer in the bin, okay? Uh, but the other thing you can do is, uh, say for example, I'll just hide the shape layer, there's a little bit of negative space here, okay? Now, um, what you can do to get rid of this is, um, you can just, just hide that so we can see the picture layer, the image layer, just grab the lasso tool and then just make a selection around here and I haven't moved the shape layer that I just created at all. Okay, and pop this back on and select the shape layer and I can't delete it now because if I do, um, uh, my layer is a shape layer, it's not rasterized. So in order to delete that section, to remove that selection, sorry, I'll need to rasterize it. Okay, and then hit delete and then command D to undo and I've got that little um, that little bit of negative space there. Now, just be mindful that I would probably recommend converting this to a smart object, back to a smart object, uh, because when I, if you want to play around with the size in, watch what happens when I make it really small and then make it really big. All right, it starts to get all uh, pixelated and, and lose quality. So. Uh, you want to convert it back to a smart object so that when you resize up and down, you're not going to lose any quality. All right. Um, the only problem is with doing that is, excuse me, that once you rasterize the layer and convert it, you can no longer change the color of the um, silhouette of the of the shape or silhouette. Okay, so you'll notice I can't can't change the color anymore. Whereas if before I rasterized it, I'll just go back to this step here. Um, uh, I've got, I'll just undo that. I've got my shape my shape tool back and I can still change the color. Okay, I don't know how to get around that, but um, maybe you could use the bucket tool or something like that. Okay, now, 
once you've done that for all of your um, for all of your uh, once you've created all of your silhouettes, uh, what you want to do is um, we just want to put them inside. Just make this one a little bit bigger. We want to put them inside this shape we created so that it look, they look that they look a bit like this. Okay. Now to do that, it's really easy. All you need to do is just right click this um, layer and then go to create clipping mask. And what that will do is that will like clip it or put it inside the rectangle, the, the layer directly below it. Okay. So now he is he's in there. Okay. Um, Next, last thing to do, grab your text tool and just maybe um, on top of everything, just add some text. You can write whatever you like. Okay, thank you.